Bogut. They got Jokic working against Dirk here. And what is that, Gallinari? Yes, sir. Yeah, knocks down a three-pointer in Denver. And we're just a minute and a half into it. Always takes time when you have new players coming together. One of those new players was just involved in a turnover, Andrew Bogut. He is a great passer, and that was a very pretty finish right there by, by, uh, by Jurkic. Uh, I think the sooner the better that they get comfortable as far as playing with a guy like that. The guy can flat play the basketball game from a passing standpoint, from a rebounding, shot blocking standpoint. Uh, you see Dirk shoots the turnaround there. For everyone to work together has resulted in the fact that uh, even though they want to manage minutes with Dirk, they need him on the floor working with this starting group as Wesley yeah. Matthews goes inside. Nice, and nice drive nice by him. Yeah. Absolutely. You did that a lot in the third. Together has resulted in the fact that uh, even though they want to manage minutes with Dirk, they need him on the floor working with this starting group as Wesley yeah. Matthews goes inside. Nice, and nice drive nice by him. Things up a little bit more here in the preseason where he's putting it putting the ball on the deck, getting to the free throw line, doing some different things. So nice play that time by Harrison Barnes. Nice to see from him. Absolutely. Yeah, on the baseline there. Sure. It's is what it boils down to. Well, I mean, you know, when we talked to him on media day, I mean, among the things that, that he pointed out, number one, he's he feels like he's fully healthy. And the things you got to do from a rehab perspective, Rick pointed out tonight that you have an injury that sometimes takes two or three weeks to heal but you and the staff have been working very, very hard with hopes of being ready for the opener next week against Indiana. Yeah, no question. I, mm -hmm. So it was just a, a, some bad luck that I had in practice. I, sure. My arm was somewhere it didn't have to be, but uh, I feel pretty good. I had a good workout today, so hopefully when they team it, he's going to work hard, and he, and he cares. He cares about, a, about a, his teammates and his team, so he, he's going to work. And he has that championship pedigree as well. Exactly. He's been there, done that. You player of the week and won the team games that got him into the playoffs. What did that mean? What did that feel like? Man, it was fun. It was it was awesome to to be able to help my team out in, in, in the way that I Successful teams in the league. They get a lot of production off of their bench consistently. Yeah. You guys just bench last year. I, I thought doing the playoffs was OKC. You gave you a chance every yeah. night. What do we? Yeah. Uh, I love this city. Uh, playing in Dallas has, has been amazing. I never. I hope I, I could do it for for five, six more years. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but it's Maurice Ager. Uh, Maybe Pops Min Saban was in there. Yeah. 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 Also, yeah. Uh, you know, you're battling for that last roster spot. So you're watching Brasino by Harrison Barnes. You're watching Brasino. I know, obviously, that you have a nice connection with him because he's learning English right yeah. now and strictly a Spanish speaker coming in from Argentina. And Dorian Finney. <laughs> 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 All right, Harv, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How bright is Justin Anderson's future with the Mavericks? Hashtag FSSW Watch Party. What do you think, Harv? You know, that was something we saw a lot late last year. Justin moved in to a consistent role 22, 23, 24 minutes a game late in the regular season, 19, 20 minutes a game. On the next, you know, it's just not 100 miles an hour at all the time, and that's good. That's a good point you bring up about him. I see that also and, in this preseason. And, and the guy to look at is a guy like Mark Jackson. Right, right. He Absolutely. slowed guys to death. Right, right. He didn't have, he, he didn't. We wanted to do everything in a hurry. And right. I, I just think that at some point, as a professional athlete, not just in basketball, things have to slow down for you, and you see things a little bit different. Well, I mentioned earlier about him uh, wanting to just be very inquisitive of... Greg Buckner, who will be the host and analyst, of course, this year for Mavs Live before and after every broadcast of Mavericks basketball on Fox Sports Southwest. They're joining us as well. They'll talk to him on Twitter quite often. Quite often, that is. Uh, where does Dirk finish in points at the end of the season? Uh, I know that he goes into it with 509 needed guys. I mean, Greg and Hart, you guys have both been around elite players, not just Dirk, but other great players. Right. And I tell this to people all the time. What makes Dirk Dirk? What made Kobe Kobe? Of course, the Nowitzki been named to the All Star team. Oh, yes. Uh, four. Plus. <laughs> two. Hey. Wow. After practice was over, to go and work on his individual game. 
Wow. And that led to a first ballot Hall of Famer, mm -hmm. Dr. Bryant, of course. And the teams are using more and more in the evaluation process. Andrew Bogut is amongst the best in the league when it comes to those sort of next level defensive numbers. Well, I've been raving about the paint. He knows what to do with the basketball. So I'm anxious to see how things go for him this year in a, in a new uniform, new system. Here's Dirk over two defenders. Pretty looking shot knocked down by Dirk. How many times? Have coach, Coach Snyder is a great coach all around, in my opinion. And um, you got to stay healthy, man. I, but I, I think what's going to get them over the hump, provided they're able to stay for Oklahoma City. When you think about Oladipo, a, a young player, small in size mm -hmm. as far as the defensive end of the floor is concerned. But they're going to have to have a variety of guys. The Thunder? Yeah, I think um, Westbrook, it could go either two ways. He can be like the old Allen Iverson with the Philadelphia 76ers, or he can be like LeBron, his first stint in Cleveland, where he took a bunch of guys to the front. How they performed in the preseason, when Rick is using them in games, how much they're getting a chance to play, that there's three guys on the floor right now that you have to feel like any of you two gentlemen care to uh, make a prediction or have a gut feeling or or have you evaluated a way that you think it should turn out? Well, you know, I, you mentioned the sites that are talking the sites that are talking about Brasino. He seems to me even before any of that information came out. Hart, when I look at this group of guys, he looks to me to be the one with the most upside of so comfortable. I mean, you know, it's like it's going to be tough. It's, it, every one of them is probably sitting on pins and needles because I mean, I think if they evaluate themselves, at least in these game situations, you know, and that's that's the thing. You lock yourself into a roster spot. The question becomes whether or not any of either of those guys will actually make a contribution right to this Maverick basketball team. It's one to actually be in a rotation. Brusino's averaged just over five points in 14 minutes a game in the preseason. 48% shooting from the floor, 54% from the three-point line. So there you those go right there, shooting. He's young. He can shoot the ball. He can play in the pick and roll. Are we going to end up seeing some like really That's small it. lines? Just playing well, Rick will give them an opportunity. If you continue to play well, you're in the rotation. We've seen that with a lot of different players. Raymond Felton, Salah Mejri last year. With Rick and Caleb and <laughs> Darn, Melvin right. Hunt yet to really share this with those guys? I was pulling for that for you. <laughs> Is this going to be after the meeting? Dinner, yeah, but you're not going to get that dinner. <laughs> not going to let you get up on him. <laughs> he won't do that. <laughs> All right, we're going to have a timeout here when we go into the six-minute mark. The dude can defend, and he can be switched on to different positions. Can you keep a guy who has defensive upside? Can you keep a 3 and D guy, but the shooting percentage has been? Um, I don't think that's right. 1998. Oh, he got it! Wow! All right, I'm going to give you your choice. You can either get a pair of tickets to life. Wife or girlfriend? girlfriend? All right, I'm sorry I didn't want to push it along too fast. Uh, let's, let's go with the tickets. <laughs> oh, we got tickets! Woo! You got to take her now, you know that, right? Of course. Okay, very good. Joel, we got Joel here, and this time it's personal. Joel, for a Wesley Matthews jersey, where did Wesley Matthews play his college basketball? Uh, Sweet thing. Elevated into more prominent roles than they've had in their career. That really excites me that it's going to happen this couldn't year. Agree. That's well said. I couldn't agree with you more. Yep. That, uh, when guys don't have the experience, it's always a, a question. Youth over experience. The great teams have a combination of both. I mean, you, you, you act, you're you talking about Dwight Powell. You're talking about Justin Anderson. These are second, third year players yep. that you're expecting to make a contribution. So everybody is ready to put a wrap on it for the night. There I we go. Him, boys. That's it. It's a wrap. All right. You guys did a great job tonight. The dance